Welcome to the November edition of Ask the Athletic Director. I'm Andy McWilliams, and with me the uh, four referred to AD, Greg Christopher. Greg, uh, so little time and so many things to talk about. Far away. The, the exhibition season is over for both men's and women's basketball. You've seen the games, you've been to practices. What are your impressions? Let's start with the men. Well, it gets real. It gets real on, on Friday, so it's a fun time. And uh, you, you know, I'm probably not the best judge of the teams, let's, let's face it. They've only played uh, the two exhibition games, but Musketeer Madness was a lot of fun. Great experience for the fans, good energy uh, in, uh, uh, in the building. Uh, so uh, looking forward to this weekend, you know, both on the men's side and the women's side, and, and see, uh, see where they stack up. And you know, they're both dealing with a little bit of injuries here and there, uh, both teams, um, and uh, and obviously this early, they're still trying to get a sense of, of you know those rotations and the personnel. But uh, I know both coaches are excited to get things going. Teams go so hard in men's and women's basketball at the D1 level. Injuries are just part of the equation. I noticed you were talking to Dave Fluker as we were at it practice a few minutes ago, but. You know, they, they go so darn hard, they're, they're always going to be there. The injuries will, are part of the game. You know, D was on the bike. We were standing there talking, and um, you know, he's getting better. But uh, it, it, that's why depth is so important. And uh, you saw it firsthand last year with, with Xavier's men's team. Sure. Uh, when, when you don't have that depth, uh, that rotation gets to be pretty thin real quick. It gets real also with uh, Fox Sports and Fox Sports 1. And uh, a week from Tuesday, I believe it's November 12th, Xavier against the Tennessee Vols from the SEC. That's going to go like Fox Sports 1 coast to coast. It is, and, and the best way to put this in perspective for our fans, uh, and, and this, this number is courtesy Tom Iser, he computed last year the, all of our games on national TV last year, the average audience, uh, given the platforms we were on, was about 165,000. This year, if you use the numbers based on the number of households Fox Sports One has, uh, our average national game is going to be in about one point, be viewed by about 1.4 million people. So right away, that that increased visibility, increased exposure for our team, you know, what is that? About seven or eight times the viewing audience this year compared to the the old package. So uh, that's what Fox Sport One, Fox Sports One brings to the table. Jeez, I'm, I'm no math guy, but it's up around the, <laughs> yeah, like you 10 to 1, yeah, 9 to 1, exactly, whatever. Yeah. You, be the, you do the division. Or round, up, right? <laughs> round up. Round up. Always round up. Always round up. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the leadership situation with the women's basketball team. I know you have a, a, a lot of history in women's basketball. Amy Waugh is no longer part of the equation. Uh, what's going on there? Well, Brian's, uh, we're really fortunate to have Brian on staff, and uh, that, that program needs stability. And uh, you know, the fact is, Brian, I think it's seven, eight years as yeah. a head coach. Uh, uh, the fact that he was already on staff and a key member, uh, again, we're just really fortunate there. And be, being able to watch them the last two to three weeks, uh, they've really settled down, and, and again, that stability is there with Brian. So at this point, uh, you know, I've been checking in with the team, checking in with the coaches. I think they're in good shape, and uh, they're just, again, ready to play this weekend. And you've added a name out of the past, a friend of mine, Mark Elin, uh, who was uh, uh, sort of one of the, the, the godfather of Xavier women's basketball. I mean, he got them to the NCAA tournament, did a great job here, yep. great job at Toledo. Great job at Forest Park High School. I mean, I'm old. I go way back to when, <laughs> when he won a state title at Forest Park. But uh, it, it was a, a sort of a touch of serendipity that he was here, available, and uh, willing to step in. Again, very fortunate. I got to know Mark when he was at Toledo, and then he you know, bounced down with Maria at, at Miami. And, and, and again, we were uh, lucky in some ways that, that he was available uh, through this transition period. So I know he's excited and uh, saw him in the hallway the other day and asked him if we were paying him yet. And you know, we, He wasn't quite on payroll yet, but he was already doing X's and O's. Well, Mark is independently wealthy. He doesn't have to worry about it. He does it, he does it out Make of sure love. Make sure he knows that. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, the Big East fall sports season, the first season in the new Big East is uh, uh, winding down, cross country has already participated in a, a conference tournament, and there are some other teams that have some good prospects. It's amazing. We're, we're, it's November, and, and we're talking basketball, obviously, but our fall sports are, are really winding down, and so how quickly it has happened. Uh, but you're right, the cross country championships have already taken place, and, and the best way I would characterize our fall season would be. Uh, I'd probably use the word solid. You know, again, when you've got 18 sports, you never get everybody kind of marching in the same direction. But 
Uh, cross country, you know, the, the women finished in the top half. That's a, that's a real positive. Uh, I know Woody in women's soccer did, probably didn't have the finish in the Big East that he was hoping for. They, they finished strong, but the season probably wasn't what he hoped for. But the bottom line is he had a winning record for the first time since uh, probably about seven or eight years for, for women's soccer. And then volleyball and men's soccer still playing. I think volleyball's got two to three weekends to go. Mike's got them right in the hunt in the top of the league. Uh, and then men's soccer, Andy's doing a fantastic job. You know, they, they struggled out of the gate a little bit. Uh, he'll be the first to tell you that, but they are finishing strong. Could win a regular season championship this weekend as we as we wrap up, and and they're right in the mix for NCAA. Uh, Friday is the men's basketball opener against Gardner Webb here at the Cintas mm -hmm. Center, and uh, there'll be uh, a VIP in, in the audience watching Val Ackerman, the new commissioner of the of the Big East, and. Uh, What's going to transpire? Val's going to be here for a couple of days. Uh, what's she, going on? She's making her lap around the conference. I think we're kind of in the last half, so to speak, but she is uh, making a trip to each of the 10 institutions. And uh, we're going to plug her in. Uh, she comes in Thursday night. Uh, she's going to have dinner with some donors. Uh, she'll meet with our student athletes, meet with our coaches, uh, tour campus, and then she'll stay for the game Friday night. So it'll be fun to to have her here on campus. She's never been on the Xavier campus, she said, so she's, uh, she's going to be here and uh, be able to meet as many of our fans as possible. And there'll be a football flavor to uh, Friday night. Uh, uh, this is the, what, the 40th anniversary of the last football season for Xavier. Friday and Saturday, there are plenty of festivities planned to, to honor the, the old guard, the football guys that are going to be coming back, and uh, it, it'll be a great reunion. Well, it's reunion weekend, and uh, football is one of the reunions taking place. Mike and his group have done a terrific job in, in pulling the re reunion together. I was out at their planning meeting a couple of weeks ago, so it'll be fun to meet with those guys Friday and Saturday then for, uh, for their events. Hey, when is uh, basketball signing day? Uh, Basketball uh, signing day is next Wednesday. So it's I a, believe if I've got my dates uh, officially right. That would right. be so, November 13th. Yeah, that class uh, becomes official, uh, and, and obviously it's gotten a fair amount of hype. I'm not sure I should be saying anything more than no, that not, specifically, no. but uh, bottom line is uh, things look very positive on that front. All right, a lot of things happening around Xavier in the athletic department, the startup of the men's and women's basketball season. And uh, it's coming. Uh, we'll have much more to talk about in the month of December on Ask the Athletic Director. Thanks, Andy.